the first tour of the 2022 growing season. My name is Will, and these are my plants. So just to tell you a little bit about this garden, it is completely organic, probably beyond organic standards. I have some things working for me for free such as like earthworms and it's like roly polies that break down anything that I put in my compost if I put uh, leaves in my garden the earthworms they take the leaves and they pull them down into the soil and they aerate it therefore I do not have to till at all the roly polies break down that into smaller pieces and then everything is plant uh, nutrient available and I have for any reason have any deficiencies and feel like a plant needs a little boost I give it a little fish emulsion so here to start I've got a ricotto and I have some spinach here I've got a habanero peach a few onions in the back that were a little extra and we've got a habanero I think I got the seeds from church habanero SC not really sure we got a pea my pea plant back here here and then last year when I was fishing I stumbled upon some kind of native spearmint plant and I planted it in here and it came back and it's shooting up stuff all the way out here in the walkway and here this one kind of looks like a like a real fuzzy one this is a like a scotch bonnet UFO so I believe I got that one that was an odd one uh, my wife was working at a hotel and somebody left some really odd looking UFO shaped orange peppers that's a scotch bonnet orange we got some more peas some more spinach plants I don't know why but this one right here it's like bolting that's part of almost all of my first part this is some like random random weed that I kind of like more spinach this is a ghost it's kind of growing really odd leaf shapes are all mutated and I topped it hoping that maybe it would shoot out some new shoots without deformed leaves we got some more peas this is a Tabasco where the phenotype of the pepper was a, kind of an oval shape instead of pointed so I'm hoping I get like a different different shaped pepper with that one and then here is a Trinidad Scorpion 1 Trinidad Scorpion 2 these are babies from Sawyer's Trinidad Scorpion plant and we got some more spinach it's like two different kinds here some of the lighter colored one is like a veriflé and this is like a something big ruffles I don't know they're two different kinds though so we got the Trinidad Scorpion this is a habanero that is red last year I got a red one and it turned out to be orange so we'll see I actually seen the pepper this time and harvested the seed myself so it should be red there's a habanero one I'm not really positive of the seed source I know I got it from something I think I think that might be the one that I grew last year and here's a Tabasco some of my plants uh, the, the organic compost that I put in it had a lot of seeds that just kind of popped up from last year so I got extra tomato plants growing in with some of them there's another Tabasco it's doing pretty well 
more spinach. And then here's another. We carved some pumpkins last year and threw the pumpkins in the compost bin and now we're getting pumpkin plants. This is the overwinter Tabasco plant that I had last year. It's already getting a bunch of flowers and stuff. I plan to put some more. Last year I started this with the compost like up to the top and it's like dropped down here and I want to add some more and then maybe put a plant on the top half of this thing. <coughs> so onto this little garden. I meant this large one. Alright, so we have uh we got this is a man. Okay, I know that this is a green zebra and this one here is a better boy yeah there you go you got a bunch of lettuce that's growing all all down here I've got kind of little spinach plants growing within those every like foot or something like little tiny little spinach in there it'll get bigger Another one there. so most of these ones besides those two that I showed you already these are all Roma's I think I have almost, I don't know, it's probably like 16 of them. And then I've got something like six that are grafted. All these red tag ones have actually been grafted with different type. And then this next row, we got a Tabasco there on the end here. And then this is called a, a BBG7 MAMP Black. So it's pretty crazy pepper. It's like all black and well, this one's supposed to be a mystery, but it's got some purpling going on it's Pretty cool looking uh, This one's called an explosive amber pretty, uh, pretty cool looking piece on that This is a brown bootla. Oh, I'm sorry uh, Black bootla yeah, black blue, a little different. I got some romaine lettuce down here. This is an overwintered Carolina Reaper right here. That which oops, this is the one that I got some pretty wicked pods from. Yeah. And this is the Trinidad Scorpion at Sawyer's. He's got like flowers and all kinds of stuff popping up on it. Hasn't taken the very best of the new weather, but I think it's popping right out. And we got a, not, some of these code names I really don't remember. I have so many. But we can say fish pepper, it has like a variegated foliage. Uh, this is an ahi rico that I have uh, holocito grafted onto it. And I actually have a, I got a pepper on here. This is an explosive ember. I've got a couple, couple of poblanos over there. GRS, I, for some reason I just can't think of what the heck that is, but it's some kind of pepper. And then the shoe over there, it's supposed to have variegated foliage, but this particular one isn't showing any signs of it, so it's probably like a semi-recessive gene. And then uh, we had some mystery ones that Kelsey planted. This one right here, this one, and this one. They're kind of older. She planted them right from a pepper that she was cutting, and it just happened to grow a few. And one of them, which this was a mystery, but I'm thinking that this is an Anaheim, going by the shape of it and all. It just doesn't look like a jalapeno or a bell. And we got a, this is like another mystery at uh, HR Seeds, who I got my seeds from. They they sent some extras, and it, it just said random. So I just kind of separated them with how big they were, and some were small. We got medium and large size seeds. So I figured the peppers would probably be somewhere in the range of how big the seed was. And 
So yeah, this is a bishop's crown right here. That's a Bactum variety, which is more related to the Ahi Rico. So I'll probably get a lot of peppers off it. More explosive amber. We got German, 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 and then another German. And and I got a couple Mexibels here and here. Uh, orange Blaze, Orange Blaze, uh, Shishido. Oh, this is a Black Pearl. These are really cool. It's supposed to have like a round pepper that turns red. And then uh, here, this is a. It's called the Tricolor Variegata. It's got really cool leaves. It's more of an ornamental. But I got back there, I got large bell pepper. Got like a bunch of Anaheims all through this area. I got some Ahi Ricos on the back. Some grafted peppers right over here. Uh, I've got a Hungarian black, which is kind of a purple variety. Down here I got yellow lunchbox, yellow lunchbox, uh, Serrano, which this one I tried twisting up the, kind of twisting the stems together to try to do something cool. Um, oh, a bunch of, bunch of peppers, I got shishito there, shishito there. In this whole front row, it's like a whole bunch of different halashitos that I'm trying to grow out and stabilize my cross. But I'm probably going to make new crosses too. Maybe mixed with something like that. Make a black halashito. Uh, we got yellow banana like. Farmer's banana. Uh, this would be like a farmer. Farmer's banana top uh, grafted onto a sriracha rootstock. So this is like the same top as this one. So it looks like they're they're growing about the same so far. We'll see if it does any better. And then we got another farmer's banana. We got a wandering Jew and a random thing and. This little ahi rico, I just stuck the stem in the dirt, and it looks like it's looks like it's all rooted itself and it's growing. Uh, same thing I'm doing with this Jew. I got another mystery pepper here. Got a hot Hungarian wax. Two of those. Got some sriracha, jalapenos, jalapenos. Uh, Carmen pepper back there. Uh, a couple other mystery ones that I got from the seed guy. And then a couple more grabs of peppers, which are all doing very well. And that pretty much completes this uh, upper half of this. Now, over in the back half of this garden by this tree, I've got a. This is a small red tie and I got a black pearl with some other random thing that popped up in the compost I got some peas some trees of some sort some more peas tricolor variegata more peas that are kind of surrounding this whole tree this Virginia creeper is kind of creeping me out And then uh, back here we have, uh, I got, on the front row I got a, it's called a Cherinero. It's like a Cherapita mixed with a Habanero. Kind of a, that's a, a real rare mix right there. It was uh, made by the guy who I was getting seeds from. This next one down here, I don't even, oh here's a tag. This is a, uh, Scotch bonnet orange. Uh, yeah. 
habanero one. These are all, some of these are like duplicates of what I got over on the other garden. It's kind of a test to see which soil produces a little better. But I got a bunch of habaneros in this first row, right through here, and then on the second row, I've got uh, these are all these are all reapers here. I think I got a reaper, 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 and then. Yeah, they're all they're all reapers right here, and then the back row over there. I think I got like a red sweet one and ahi rico, ahi lemon drop, which there's some of those in the other garden too, and then a pimento habanero long. This one and this one's got some huge leaves on it, and as you can see, I've got some damage from hail. We had some hailstones uh, rip apart some of these plants here, but they seem to have uh, recovered and not really minded it at all. And this is one of those BBG7, pretty cool looking black foliage one. The Wandering Jew. This is an Ahi Rico that I overwintered last year. It's doing very well. And then these two here, okay, there's three. I got a poblano that I overwintered last year. It started off as an experiment. I, I took the stem and I and I pulled it down and tied it, and then these other branches popped up. Didn't seem to get any more production out of it, so failed attempt. Got wandering Jew all over here. Then I had two other ahi ricos that I overwintered, and they had perfect size branches to cut grafts into. So I've got a number of grafts. I, I can't even start naming what they are, but some of them have failed. But at one time, each one had at least like 10 on each. But uh, it still has uh, quite a bit of different ones on it now. Every clip that you see on there, it's definitely a different kind. And then the same thing with this, which the mother plant, the, being an ahi rico, it has the tendency to want to kind of overgrow because it's a very fast and developing plant. So I'm probably going to have to do some trimming up on everything uh, just so that my grafts can survive. So uh, one more note that I'd like to add here is uh, if you watch my other video and you look at that first garden, uh, I had a lot more leaves in it just a few days ago and uh, the earthworms have actually pulled all these leaves like I, I'm telling you there was probably 50 pounds of leaves I put down and now the only thing they left were uh, like big leaves on top not so much in here they there's worms in here but not as much as the other but this was all completely covered with leaves and it, the wind did not blow these away they were sucked into the ground by worms it's pretty crazy how they do it uh, but I seen it with my own eyes last night so we'll have a good one and I'll see you on the next one